Hi, I'm Anthony from Riverglide. We've just started working on a new website for ourselves and rather than wait until it's looking the way we want it to look, we thought we'd show you some of its humble beginnings and how it got to where it is now and uh, share with you over time um, some of the other increments that occur in between. Uh, at the moment, um, the website doesn't do anything other than uh, show you uh, our company logo and have a page title that tells you who we are. Uh, and that's it, that was our first increment, if you like. Although uh, the increments were even smaller than that. And if we uh, just jump over to Relish, where we're publishing um, the scenarios that we've written for our acceptance tests for our own website, um, you can see what those increments were. So if you go to a place to start, um, it's very simple. It's a, this was uh, written before we had any web server or a page doing anything at all. Um, we wrote this, ran it, saw it fail for the right reasons, and then that forced us to have a um, web server running. And when you visit the home page, it gives you a page title or a river glide flow without friction that was basically empty. Um, got that working, moved on to the next scenario, uh, or next increment, which was a user story for visitors to know that they've arrived at the right place. Uh, just by seeing our company logo. Um, so um, these scenarios sort of just reads, giving you a River Glide visitor, when you attempt to visit us then you should see the company logo. Now that last step looks quite simple but behind the scenes it um, looks for a tag with an ID of company logo and it gets the source for that and then it goes and checks that that image file actually exists. If it doesn't exist, it fails and tells you that there's no image file there and so on. So we wrote that, saw that fail, and then that uh, told us to uh, put an image tag on the page and uh, put the file in the appropriate place. We ran it, we saw it pass, and then we tweaked it to change the, the layout, move the image to the middle, which we, we didn't necessarily drive a test for uh, in terms of its physical the actual location of the image, uh, the key is that the capability is that the customer can see that they're in the right place and that's satisfied whether the image is on the left in the middle or on the right. Um, to help make this a little easier for ourselves, and we're using a uh, cu cucumber with an extension we've written called Cuke Salad, which is available on GitHub. Uh, that's why we define our role at the beginning. So who is it that we care about here? Um, what do they do? In this case, they visit us. And what should they expect? Well, they should expect to see the company logo. And that's made easier by Cute Salad, which is also documented on Relish. Uh, you can find this page just by going to cuketesalad.info. Um, on this particular page, the example it gives you is one for a simple calculator and demonstrates that uh, instead of having to focus on regular expressions, instead you focus on expressions of your intent. So. Uh, this would be preceded by, given I am a calculating individual, for someone who uses a calculator, for example, uh, then you say, when I attempt to add the number one to the number two, um, instead of writing a step definition uh, in the traditional way, you create a file, uh, which is uh, representative of a task, the task being adding the numbers. And the actions involved in adding two numbers together are expressed within that task. Um, you can find out how exactly that works by checking out the simple tutorial which is also available on the Relish documentation for Cuke Salad. Um, finally, the thing that Cuke Salad makes very easy for us to do uh, by comparison to other approaches is to uh, keep our code separate in uh, a number of ways which makes it easier for us to check our, the features of our application, or website in this case, headlessly or via a visible browser. So um, if I just do that like that, check features, we'll do that headlessly um, with the help of Capybara and Rack Test Driver underneath. Um, or I can do the same like this and it takes a little bit longer, spins up a web browser. Close it. All of the code, all of the scenarios for Cucumber, the tasks that we write, they're all being reused uh, rather than duplicated in, to enable this. 
and cube salad just encourages you to keep things separated in a way that makes it a lot easier to achieve that and you can see some examples of that in the cube salad project itself under the examples calculator that's all I wanted to show you for today and uh, keep checking in once in a while to see what new increments and new features that we add.